Hey guys, how's it going? Quick little intro. Um, today I shot a day in the life of me, a day in my life. So um, as I was recording, I kept saying, you know, um, in between things, uh, hey, this is uh, gonna be the last scene. So thanks for joining me. So a lot of times I might have uh, said that. So just keep in mind that we're going all the way through the night. All right, so I'm, I'm, I'm even cooking. All right, so just to show you guys a little bit about my day, right now it's 7.15 p.m. and I'm about to start editing this thing and uh, hopefully finish it all by tonight because we gotta premiere this exact thing that you're watching right now tomorrow morning. So, all right guys, I'll see you guys at the next scene and uh, hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Um, I had fun filming it and I'm having fun editing it and the whole thing. I just wanted to add this little thing here at the beginning. So thanks again, and uh, without further ado, I'll see you guys a few hours ago. Hey guys, how's it going? How are you guys doing today? So I thought I'd show you guys a little bit of my life. So you're gonna be seeing this on Thursday morning and um, today is Wednesday afternoon. It's already 2.35, holy shit. Fuck, it's late. It's already 2.35 p.m. Um, I, I, I should have thought about, I should have uh, thought this out a little better. By the way, before I forget even too far, welcome back. Today is Thursday, January 17th, 2018, 2019 do it again today is january 17th 2019 the reason i gotta do it again is because i need that clip so that i can fucking make my little um what you might call it promo video anyways so i've been up since about around 7 7 30 this morning um what i do to help me wake up is that not only do i have more than one um alarm going off but also, um, I open my window and I make sure that the sun is shining in my fucking face so that the sun wakes me the fuck up, all right? That's one thing I try to do. Um, everyone has a little different routine. So what I was gonna say is that like, I, I should have thought this out a little more and I should have uh, made, uh, I should have filmed a little bit more of my day, but you guys can figure it out. So pretty much my day, I woke up and I started answering emails I got paid uh, for a Fiverr video that I did. I got a big tip, it was really good. I was uh, answering emails of, uh, I got, you know, the concert guy that, uh, you know, he's hitting me up with the third project now. We're doing another project. Um, we've, we've been talking about that. I was talking to two or more of my clients and then also getting ready for the broadcast. And uh, if you guys were here yesterday, you guys know that I did a live broadcast and I hung out with you guys for about an hour and a half. So I had to put a little, at least a little bit of uh, work into putting the broadcast together. So I put the broadcast together, and then it was, or I forgot what time it was when I was when it was done. Some sometime around I started at ten, an hour and a half, eleven thirty. So around eleven thirty I was done, and so around eleven thirty I went back to answering emails. And I started downloading a bunch of files, which is something I'm still doing. So again, you know, everything I do it takes a lot of work. So in order for me to edit a video, uh, I have to download. A lot of stuff and and upload and so on and so forth so I'm working on that now um, still working on that um, entered a bunch of emails oh oh yeah that's right um, this morning I also matched with the girl on tinder so I've been talking to her kind of back and forth in fact since I was talking to her all day she sent me her number so now we're on a number basis so we got that going um, now I just made myself a little list okay because I gotta go um, I'm gonna take you guys with me I gotta go to the bank got to get a couple bucks and then I got to go um, to the Walmart so that I can buy just a couple things so I can make myself a dinner so that I can work through the night because I also have to edit. I'm um, going to see if I can put a little clip here. I got to edit this, finish editing it. I still have a lot to My do on this project. So I'm working on this project now and uh, I'm, I'm along, the, along with all the other projects I'm working on. So. That's what I'm working on tonight, last night actually, that's what I was working on last night. And this is why I, I'm filming these videos uh, a day ahead of time 
and, and I'm doing the live streams. I'm doing everything that I'm doing and I change the schedule because since I'm actually having a lot more work now and uh, everything is growing on every, on every level exponentially, um, I need to manage my time a lot better. So by managing my time a lot better, now I'm able to do it more and more and more. And it's, it's all about that. It's, just all, it's all about organization, guys, you know? And we all have enough time, even though a lot of times we don't have time, that's the only thing I ever complain about on a daily basis, is the fact that I don't have enough time, but we do have enough time. It's all about um, maximizing the, the amount of time you have, and then also um, multitasking and so on and so forth. For some people, it's easier than others and, and, and all that, but um, it's all about that. So. Um, I'm, um, I'm, so I guess, yeah, that's it. So today's episode is just like a day in the life of Jose, a day in the life of me. Um, not, no real news thing. Um, unless some crazy major news thing breaks and then you're probably going to be seeing another video. But other than that, it's just going to be a day in the life. So you guys can see all the stuff that I do in between my daily uploads and my daily streams and, 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 and all that shit. So, because again, as you guys know, sometimes I'm, I upload, I stream, I do all these things all in one day. I do a lot of things. I, I'm, I'm up. The only day that I'm, I don't upload or interact with you guys is on Saturday. And not even, because this past Saturday, I uploaded a, a video of me walking around. So I, I'm always busy. I only give myself Saturday off because again, I also have clients, I have work to do and so on and so forth. So like for example, on Friday, I'm, I'm spending the whole day editing that, that fighter video I showed you earlier. And, um, and yeah, I got a deadline for that for the end of the month. And um, the guys actually extended the deadline for me a little bit, so that's good. But to me, my deadline is still January. And it's not, you know, because I want to look good. It is because I want to look good. But it's it's also because I also have a lot of other pending jobs and clients. So it's like, I, I got to do that. I got to hurry up. Look, I was just having a long conversation with somebody. Um, the person in which I did this video with here in town, um, in which um, I was doing, you know, uh, she anyway, she hit me up again and she wants to do another project and she, you know, um, was talking about, you know, kind of building and growing a business. And I'm like, oh, hell yeah, that sounds great because that's kind of like something I want to do out here um, to keep doing what I'm doing. So, you know, again, I was in a meeting, you know, with her pretty much on and off, you know, all day, you know, uh, entering emails. I'm, I, I consult for somebody. I was doing a Fiverr job. I was uh, talking to my friend over here um, with the concerts. Um, I'm editing the video with um, the fighters. Um, I'm filming this video for tomorrow. I did a live stream today. Um, I, I mean, I got to go now to the store so I can buy food so I can cook, so I can eat. And uh, yeah, I mean, and by the way, I'm gonna go get some chicken and cook and since I'm not really doing a live stream or anything tonight, I'm just kind of working on my project. It's something I can kind of like have a little, let dedicate a few minutes to, to, to cook. Because even cooking is, is something that, you know, takes a while. So, all right guys, well, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take you guys with me and we're gonna walk down Paseo Montejo like we did last time and then we're just gonna talk a little bit. I'm not gonna, record too much you know because i don't want to make this too long of an episode but you know fuck it I, I i have some thoughts in my head i know you guys want to check out um the neighborhood and i'll let you guys look at the neighborhood on a wednesday afternoon so you guys can take a look at what my neighborhood looks like around uh a wednesday at 3 p.m all right so you can see what it looks like all right and uh and we'll go from there we'll just talk a little bit more and uh We'll see how we end it. But anyways, I hope you guys are enjoying today's episode. And uh, you guys are always the awesomest. So, all right, without further ado, I'll see you um, in the next scene. Hey, guys. So, yeah, I haven't left yet. It's like almost, it was 3.13 p.m., literally. And um, let me show you. So you see, I'm waiting on that, and it's like, fuck, you know, after that's done, then I gotta click on a button to, um, you know, start downloading the whole fucking thing. So it's like, fuck, and it's taking forever. So I'm just here kind of like waiting. I'm just like stretching, doing some exercises, you know, doing a little, little stretching and yoga while I wait. Um, because again, um, while I, you know, as soon as I download it now, I can go to the store, do all that. And in the meantime, it'll be downloading. Anyways, I just wanted to also let you guys know, why am I making this video? Um, the reason I'm making this video is to show everybody out there that 
if you want it bad enough, you can get it. You know, I want it bad enough. I mean, but it's not for everybody. But for me personally, I do. This is why this is my just a regular day. This is just a, a Wednesday in my life, you know? So, you know, and, and, and just so you guys can see, because a lot of you guys might think like, oh, he must have like a fun life and this and that. And like, well, yeah, I do. My, I think my life is the greatest and it's fun and it's awesome and amazing. But, you know, we might as well show you a little bit about it. You know what I mean? A little bit of my day so you guys can kind of get an idea. Um, see, it's not so glamorous, you know, I guess. Um, but... You know, to me, this is all, like, again, I would rather be doing this than, uh, you know, um, being in a kitchen working, you know, or peeling, you know, like anything like that. Some people might prefer to be in a kitchen peeling potatoes for a large party. I'm good. I'm good on this right now, listening to the podcast, even though I would be listening to the podcast peeling potatoes as well. But, I don't know, this is just a little more satisfying. I've done that, been there. Anyways, all right. So, like I was saying, um, I'll see you guys as I'm walking, all right? So... We're going to go to the bank, all right? I'll see you guys in a few. Hey, guys. All right, so let's try this again. Now it's 4 o'clock. I'm still here. Um, that's how long it took for that little thing to finish. Anyway, so look. But, uh, so I had to, like, individually click on all of these files to download. So, all right, we're downloading all the files now. And now I'm going to head out. But and everything does happen for a reason. It's not a big freaking deal. Um, even though I'm running a little behind, I also now get to show you what the city looks like at four o'clock and you also get to see a little bit of more of my day it was like how it is like uh, it's not, not everything goes as planned so um without further ado i'm going to show you because uh from four o'clock to six o'clock is like when all the traffic is usually at, at its hardest so you'll get to see that so without further for, without further ado i'll see you guys on paseo montejo see you in a bit all right guys so we're at paseo montejo like we were before only now it should be a lot busier than it was the last time i brought you around we're only going to go to the bank and i'm going to end it by the time i get to the bank all right so without further ado i'm going to strap you to my head all right and keep talking oh man you know i just realized it might be windy as fuck if it's windy i might just redo the audio i hope i don't have to do that hope it's uh, bearable all right guys Make sure I don't look too much like a crazy person. All right, so as you guys already saw, so yeah, this is a good coffee place. I come here for meetings. It's a nice place. It's close by. You see, look, this is that place. You see how it's nice and open now. One of the best Italian places out here, supposedly. I haven't been here yet, but that's what they say. So, um, <clears throat> like I was saying, um, so, yeah, so in the meantime, as you guys saw, um, it took me about 45 more minutes of wait time in order to download all that shit. So in the meantime, I was like, well, fuck it. Let me just start doing a bunch of things that I need to do anyway. So I was just like reorganizing a little bit, rolling some blunts, so on and so forth. And, uh, yeah, just getting ahead. I really hope that the sound is okay, because if it's not, you might just start hearing music from this point on or something. And whatever, we'll figure it out. Yeah, that's the one thing about this camera. The sound on this camera is not as good. Um, and so, see, it's a little windy out here. I know it's probably going to be like, you know? Um, on the wind thing and I hope it's not but whatever it is what it is so you see it's this is how it typically is a little bit more bustling and hustle and bustle around it's a lot more stuff usually going around and uh, yeah bro I'm telling you it's fucking heaven you see that I saw that I hope I hope it got on there and um, yeah so this is a typical day in my fucking life you know um, busy busy and then um, go off for a little walk you gotta do the calisthenics and then uh, you gotta do the the walking part the aerobic part or what have you look at this 
See, this is like a great picture, you know, picture, picture, you know. So, yeah, so now, like, like I was saying earlier, it's 4 o'clock. It should be like 4.20 right now. And I'm on my way to the bank so I can get a couple bucks out. And, uh, man, you see, look, I, I, I fucked up. I should have pulled the trigger a week ago. I, I, I bought a bunch of Bitcoin. Come on, buddy. So I, I bought a bunch of Bitcoin. And when I was at the high, I was thinking, um, well, I'm going to hold it and just ride it a little bit. And by the high, I'm just saying the high that we had a few days ago or a week ago. And I was like, fuck it, I'll hold it. And by holding it, um, you know, hopefully I'll make a couple bucks. It'll be good, whatever. Instead of cashing out into pesos, I was thinking, fuck, I should have, you know, cashed out into pesos. And then the thing is that in the meantime, the pesos... I, would, I lost more money. I lo not only did I lose money in Bitcoin like we all did, but I lost money in pesos as well. And so that's the gamble that I took. So I probably lost like, I don't know, like 60 something bucks in total. And that's something that it's a risk that I was willing to take. Like, I thought I was just going to keep it there. I thought I was just going to stay at, you know, um, at least, you know, even where it's at. But just because of my, um, me not pulling the trigger, what happened was that um, I missed out. And, uh, and I, not only did I miss out, but then now I'm down. And as you guys know, that uh, means uh, that's even more quantified for someone like me out here because I, every every dollar every dollar counts to everybody. But out here, more the dollars are a little harder to come by. And so and uh, yeah, but hey, you know you gotta. You, I, I'm not here to just tell you about my wins, man. I'm here to tell you about my losses, my draws, my everything. And we all have them, you know. That's just, you know. Well, here go the wind again. I think how I'll, I'll fix the wind issue is that I'll just listen to the whole thing and then edit it or something. I'll figure it out. We'll see what we can do. I feel like it's windy. Yeah, I'm not going to really talk right now because I feel it's windy and it's not going to capture my voice anyway. So yeah, okay, so it's not windy again. So, you know, this brings up another good point, you know, like the making videos and making content isn't easy. Um, I enjoy making it. So to me, the challenge is something that I enjoy. But like right now, you know, this brings up another great point as to why I don't do videos outside a lot because of the wind factor. You know, it's another factor. I would have to like hook up a microphone to my fucking head, like literally have a microphone like this. Which, you know, that, that's fucking just retarded. I might as well just bring up my big camera. I'm hoping this is a good angle too. I, I tilted the camera down a little down as well to see if we can capture more. But, uh, so yeah, it's all a work in progress, you know? Also, I'm gonna see if I can export this in close to 4K HD. So if that's the case, you know, we're gonna see. We'll, we'll find out the result later. But I'm gonna see if this this whole episode might be, be shot in 4K, all right? Or close to 4K. All right, so that's the bank there. We're about to head in. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. I hope you guys, uh, I might add a little more something to the end of this. But regardless, I really hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. I'm going to let you guys go here so I can go to the bank, get my funds, and go to the Walmart that's across the street and then head back. Um, hey, I just realized um, I got home and um, I'm about to do the cooking. It's 5.30, so it's 5.30. I was like, you know what? Why don't I just show you a little bit of my cooking? I'm going to be making today um, some chicken breast. <clears throat> I don't know if you guys can see it there. 
I'm just gonna cook that with some vegetables. Okay. Easy peasy, and then uh, some mashed potatoes, a little comfort food. Yeah, this is what I feel like eating. So a little guy, a little instant mashed potatoes, and uh, some chicken with like uh, some broth type situation. So I'm just gonna cook it. So I'll show you guys how it's done. And uh, I don't know if I'm gonna show you the end result or not because I'm gonna see if I can edit this while it's cooking. Um, but regardless, guys, um, just wanted to show you a little bit of uh, the rest of my day. I just want to show you as much as my day as possible. And um, all right, see you in a little bit. All right, let's. Uh, <clears throat> all right, let's get to cooking. So I'm gonna strap you to my head and give you a bird's eye view. All right. All right, guys. So there's the chicken, and here's a spice rub. And here we got some coconut oil and some olive oil. The reason I use both of these is because they're the healthiest. They're both good for you, and um, and uh, just mixing it. It's for flavor, believe it or not. So olive oil, I love olive oil. It's very flavorful. And um, and then we got the coconut oil, which has no flavor. So. We got some, some oil in there, and that's where we're gonna fry this sucker up. We might add a little more oil. Now we got the spice rub. What's in the spice rub? Well, first we got salt. Look, salt de mar. You're, um, it's salt from, from the ocean, like real good salt. One dollar, one dollar for, for salt, like sea salt, all right? No fluoride, no bullshit. We got some thyme, thyme. Thyme and chicken go really well. We got some pepperoncinis. We got some. I don't know what the fuck this is. I got this from this one girl that I was dating once, and uh, and um, I think it's it's like a spice rub that they have, like a Mexican spice rub. And I think there might be MSG in here, but it's all good. MSG is good, by the way. We got some oregano. All right, I just powdered oregano in here, and then we got some of this. This is a good old, you know, com complete season. Sazón completa. This is what we use, you know, this Cuban cooking 101. It's just um, our version of this, okay? And it's uh, it's a bunch of stuff in there, you know, oregano, you know, all, all Cuban spices, you know, uh, garlic, whatever, you name it, oregano, cumin, you, I don't know, all kinds of shit. Plus, I, I think there might be MSG in there. And uh, that's it. So we got the spice rub, and then we're gonna just do the chicken. So, with the chicken, what we're gonna do here, as we heat up the oil over there, we want it nice and hot, so it's no big deal. We're trying to multitask. So what I'm doing here with the skin, as you see, I'm putting my hand in there so we can get nice and good uh, spices. Look at this, this is the smallest one they had, all right? Have, it's Walmart, so you can already know where that's coming from. All right, so we're just gonna rub this vigorously all over. Now, this same spice rub, I put extra salt in there too because eventually, the, I'm gonna use the same oil. I'm gonna use the same exact oil that I'm using over there. You know, let me put this over here so it falls in the same. I'm, gonna, I'm using the same exact um, oil to cook the vegetables in. So while this is cooking, I cut the vegetables up. This is all multitasking. So now what I'm doing here, so you've got to season every single part, no matter what. The more you season it, the better. The, the more you season every part, I hope you guys can see everything there. But the more you season everything, the better, because everything needs flavor. It gets all over. You hear those little, that shit falling everywhere? That's salt. That's the salt. All right. Talking too much, right? Get to work, brother. All right. Let me get that. Okay. And that's it. Easy peasy. Are we hot here yet? There we go. And then skin down first, all right? Skin down first. And we're gonna try and get a really, 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 really crispy skin. All right? And that's it, so let that shit ride out. Now we're gonna wash our fucking hands. See, th this part I gotta edit out. Hey, you know what? I'll, I'll, I'll see if I can fast forward this part. All right, okay guys, so chicken is still cooking there. We don't want it to stick. Just moving it around a little bit, just moving it around a little bit, not too much. You don't want to bother it too much. And then here, we got like this nice little mix. Spinach, arugula, and kale. All the greens, I throw them all in there and they shrivel up, but eating all of this is really good for you and it's healthy. 
I usually slice them myself. This is all they had today, so whatever. Red onion, a little flavor. I usually, you know, they don't have Spanish onions on here. And then a little garlic. So let's get to it. So if you can cook, so can you. All right, yeah, you can't even see me. Anyway. All right, so let's just cut this. You can tell them from my, from my chef days, nothing is wasted, nothing. Come on. All right. A little hyper today, huh? Just a typical day, guys. This is a typical day in Jose's life. Typical day in Jose's life. Cutting the onion. I think you guys might enjoy today's episode. I hope so. Hope you guys are enjoying this. I'm loving this premiere stuff, huh? What do you think, huh? You guys like when I premiere these things? I'm trying to waste as little as possible, okay? It's all about waste, food cost, all right? Every, all this adds up. This right here, like that adds up. When you're doing fucking hundreds for hundreds of people a day, everything counts. This is the food cost. They okay, wouldn't want to eat that. I used to have the this chef. He used to walk around the whole place with a fucking spatula. And um, you know like when you're done with anything, you know like when you're done making like some chocolate puddings, chocolate stuff, whatever, something yummy, and all of a sudden, you know, you're licking the bowl. Well, imagine if you're making all kinds of stuff, all, all, everything, sauces, sweet, not sweet, whatever. Um, you gotta go around with a, a spatula, like a, a rubber spatula, so that, you know, you lick every single, like the bowl, by the time you're done with this huge pot of stuff, it has to be like that clean almost, you know, just from the spatula alone. Oh man, you know, I just fucked up, I just realized. Damn, I was gonna, I'm dicing this, you know what? All right, all right. Let's, uh, hold on, you gotta fix this. All right, so, I was gonna slice it, I mean, I was gonna dice it, but I was like, fuck, I sliced it instead. So now we gotta improvise, we gotta go and slice it all the way through. Because I usually slice it the other way. Okay, all right, we're good. So yeah, I see it slicing it like this or like this. No matter, we're switching it up. It's going crazy today. You never know what I'll do. By the way, the battery's dying, so I gotta keep an eye on this thing. Hopefully it won't take too long. Anyways, yeah, the point of the story with the spatula chef, chef, he used to go around and when you were done with like a big pot of anything, big pot of sauce, uh, sweets, whatever the fuck it is you were cooking. Look at that, how does that look guys? Look at that. That's flavor. All we're, what we're doing with this is building flavor. I could just fucking add the whole thing, add all the ingredients and put it all there and together, but there's a reason my shit tastes the bomb. There's a reason my shit tastes so fucking good. All right, it's because you know we're building flavors, all right? Which we're, all we're doing is level, you know, building levels of flavor, and eventually all these levels of flavor turn out to be this awesomeness, which is what we're making. All right. Anyways, back to the spatula chef story. So this fucking guy used to go around, you know, because we used to work, you know, it was like a, the Biltmore, when you know it was like hundreds of chefs, you know, cooking all kinds of shit all the time. It was a huge fucking hotel, um, and so this fucking guy used to go around with a spatula and whenever he used to see like a like a pot like imagine this pot and this the pot was in the dishwasher and it had like sauce or whatever he would get so pissed and he would go with the pot and take it back to the employee and be like what the fuck is this look at all this waste look at whatever and he would go with the spatula and he would pour everything out and, and he would come out with like uh, this thing would be full of sauce or this thing would be full of sauce you know what I mean like a whole container and then he would get so pissed because he'd be like look look at you wasted like four portions right there that's four portions of whatever that you wasted hold on okay we're still recording it's me it's me it's me Mario trying to make sure we're still recording because I forgot the battery's dying so that was the story 
I know I'm always talking to myself, but I'm just trying to, to trying to keep that, trying to at least keep a camera going while I'm talking to myself, right? <laughs> but anyway, so that that was uh, the spatula chef. The spatula, I can, what can I say? Spatula ch chef. It's a spatula, spatula chef. There we go. The spatula chef story. All right. So obviously today's episode is going to be a little longer. All right, a little longer. So I might have to play with the audio. All right. So we're just going to smash this. I'm keeping them kind of whole. I don't really want to, I'm not going to chop them up too much. I'm going to keep them a little whole. Okay, so. Ta-da. Ah. And so like, the thing about cooking is that when you're cooking, you use all of your senses. You're using every single one of your senses. So like right now, the reason I don't have to go over there, the reason I don't have to go over there and check the fucking chicken is because the the sound the chicken is making on its own is is letting me know. Look, bad and a bad garlic. It's not a good garlic. Anyways, the, it's it's letting me know right now that it still needs time. Once it starts slowing down, like I can hear like the like the tsh, you know it's cooking whatever the cooking sounds are slowed down. That means it's time to turn. That's why I knew immediately when I had to go over there to get a per, you know the perfect exact. That's all. That's how many fucking chickens I cook. That's how many of these fucking things I've done in my whole fucking life. That's why when people are like, hey, do you want to open up a restaurant? No, go fuck yourself. <laughs> you know, not that. I mean, for reals, man. That, that's a. I'm uh, no. That's that's that, that's in my past. You know, I've done that already way too long. I did that for my whole fucking life, and I don't have to prove nothing to nobody. I've done it be like forever and, and I, I was really good at it you know and that's it that's i can go to the fucking grave knowing that i did that some people just do that you know what i mean I, i've done a million fucking things all right see look my, now it's a i hate garlic in the sense that like uh garlic is so good but at the same time it's such a pain in the ass it's like on purpose i think it's like in order to get all this goodness and it's so hard because my hands are so fucking sticky right now oh my crap all right I don't know if we're going to be fast forwarding this, if you're going to be hearing the audio and then some scenes. We're going to see how I'm going to edit this later. But. All right. All right, so you see, I hear it already slowing down. So now we're going to flip it. Flip this bitch. Oh, look. That's why. Look. So you see, it was slow. All right. Look what happened there, you see? But it's good, it's not bad. Hell yeah. So now, that's it, we're almost done. So let's just get this fucking side over here. So now we just get this at an angle there so we can make sure we get like the same, same result on the other side. And that's another thing about cooking too. Cooking, when you're cooking, the art of cooking is just a recipe. You have like a recipe and then you're supposed to Everyone, you're supposed to interpret that recipe how you interpret it very differently and, and things are always going to be you always got to be thinking on your feet so if all of a sudden you make something and it comes out a little saltier than normal or a little this or a little that you know there's like things that you can do in order to fix it you're always tweaking it and fixing it and moving it and whatever until you get the perfect result you know if you're really good at this you know like I've been doing this for a long time I don't have to be tweaking too much but hey, shit happens sometimes. Sometimes I might add a little too much salt, a little bit too much whatever, and then I, I fix it. But but that's the whole thing about cooking. That's why I gravitated towards cooking. Baking and pastry, I can do it, but it's so hard because everything is so, um, you can't, it's not thinking on your feet. It's the complete opposite. It's, it's being exact and precise. And that to me, you see, as you guys can see, I'm having difficulty with the exact and preciseness. All right, there we go. That's it, all right. So we got that. You see, it's slowing down a little bit. All right. So we're let's just clean up. We're almost. We gotta hurry. We gotta hurry. And that's the thing too. We're racing against the clock here. We're doing everything against the clock. I would be really good at those like cooking competitions or what have you. We gotta clean this up later. Let's just hurry the fuck up. Ah! Jesus, I'm terrible. Sorry about that. I'm sure that the sound and everything everything was even worse than, sorry, I didn't mean to scream, in your ears. Okay, let's wash this real quick. Going up against the clock here. 
And you know, so now when I'm done with all this, I'm gonna, I gotta edit this video. And then, after I edit the video, um, so while I'm editing the video, I gotta go through this whole thing again. So everything that you're that I'm that we're, I'm doing right now, I gotta do it two times. So I, I'm cooking in real life, and then I gotta watch myself cooking in real life again and redo the whole thing. Funny, right? Funny, haha. -ha. All right, all right. Let's go. Let's do this. All right. I wanna make sure I'm still recording. All right, we're still recording. That's no, not that bad. All right. All right, so it's actually moving pretty quick. So now we're gonna get a bowl. We're gonna get, look, there's a little oil from the coconut oil there. So now, look at that. Look how fucking beautiful that looks, huh? Doesn't that shit look beautiful? Like you can almost eat this thing. You can fucking eat this thing. Look how good it looks, huh? All right, so now we're gonna do Pop this son of a bitch here. Careful, don't burn yourself, you fucking moron. Okay. Don't do don't try that at home. That was a bad uh okay. So now we got oil there. Okay, that's good. That's good enough. Okay. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna toss these fuckers in. Okay, put this back on the fire. If it's not on the fire, it's not cooking. Throw these in. And that's it. We're gonna cook this for a little while. So I'm gonna pause. And just let these cook down, and I'll get back to you in a minute, okay? As soon as these things are cooked down. So. Mmm, it smells so good. Onions and garlic. Let's see, we just gotta let this cook. Okay. This helps, if you cover something, it helps speed up the cooking. The heat gets trapped in there and, and it creates like a vortex of even more heat. Trick. Alright guys. See you in a minute. Alright. You know what? Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a little trick. So we're st stirring it here and then I'm going to be stirring the, the finished product. Let's see if we can do this editing trick. Okay. I saw, I'm sorry. I apologize. I fucked up with the camera trick. Literally, I, I recorded the uh, me stirring the onions after I came back and then I thought I was fucking recording and again fail so I just added the mushrooms we're gonna cook this down a little further all right and um, that's it add a little more salt a little more olive oil we're gonna cook it down just a little further to get that flavor all right and we'll be back in a second all right I agree with you, Greg. All right, let's get back to see where we're going here, where we're at. All right, looking good. Okay. So I cleaned up this pot real quick. You just give it a little quick rinse because I, I forgot um, I, I got to finish cooking in here because I want to, I'm going to make the mashed potatoes in here later for myself. So, all right, now we're, we're almost done. So now next step, got to add this. Oh, yeah, 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 all right, here we go. So what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna, we're gonna add the whole fucking thing, literally. This is all good for you. Great, yummy. And it all cooks down. It might look like a lot here, but it's all gonna cook down. So we're gonna add this in batches and cook it down. And um, yes, it's true. If you cook down a lot of things, like all the way down, you might lose some of the nutrients, but I mean, yes and no, because the thing is that I'm gonna be make, cooking it down inside like this liquid, inside this thing, so at the end, I'm gonna be eating all that goodness. So all the vitamins, all the, everything stays in here. So. So we're just gonna do a little trick here. You're gonna see how fast this cooks down.
So you have to cook them down there. This is just steaming, you see? It's turning into... Now we're gonna add the rest. So now we just add the rest. We'll let the steam do the, the whole thing, all right? We'll let the steam steam it out. How fancy, right? My garbage, look at my garbage can, how fancy. You see it steaming up? Let the steam help us out. And then we got the chicken over here. We'll make a few dishes and then we're just gonna add that, all that in here with some water from there. Some freshly, freshly squeezed water. Here, let me stay away from that. We're downloading, look how much left I got. Still got a long way to go. I'm gonna have to pause all this shit and continue later and I hope it doesn't fuck it up and I, I probably had to download it through the, the rest of the night a day in the life uh, all right. <clears throat> so now you see it's welted nice and it's easy to work with it smells so good so yummy so look at all these vegetables see so that's my dinner tonight just a lot of vegetables and protein and I, I mean, that's a big chicken, so I'm gonna eat half of that. That's like I got meal for two days here. Look at that, look how it cooked down so fast. Ta-da! And I'm telling you, it might not look like much now, but... Wait till you see the end result. I'm gonna show you the end result, don't worry. I think I, I have to. So I'll show you guys the end result. It's gonna be a long night for me guys <clears throat> what I do for you guys cuz I love you no homo okay so now we're just gonna basically pop this in here just transfer it all right real easy You gotta be careful here because this one will fucking stick. So let's just wait a minute. So there's still flavor here, so which sucks. I hate switching pans, but whatever. Wouldn't it be nice if you guys had something like this in the US? Oh wait, you guys still drink from there. Good luck with that. Good luck. What game, what video game was that from? Good luck. Star Fox, guys, Star Fox. All right, so look at that, look at that. Yeah, that flavor. Ta-da, we're gonna wash this in a minute. Make the mashed potatoes in there later. And that's it, so look, it looks like a soup. Well, it's kind of like a soup. But the thing is that what we're doing here is that the water, the liquid itself, that is now highly flavored because, well, you've already seen everything that went in there, this is what's going to cook the chicken and make it nice and tender and yummy and delicious. And so I'm going to use the liquid. I'm going to use the liquid as a cooking ve vehicle. So instead of frying it, I'm boiling it. And um, what I can do is that, yeah, sure, I can keep cooking it like in this. And so it'll come out like that and then I get chicken soup. Or you're going to see what I do, which is I just keep cooking it down, cooking it down, cooking it down until eventually all this water disappears. And once the water disappears, then we have um, a beautiful, look at this beauty, look, yummy, yummy. I'm gonna add that in there. And then we have like a, a beautiful piece of chicken and, and a nice sauce, and a nice, like nice thick sauce and not, not soup, we're not making soup. And all, all, all this is, is just a cooking vehicle. So, you know, you could bake it, you could fry it, you could um, broil it, you know, you could barbecue it, you could do a bunch of fucking things with it. Or, you know, you, we're using water as the cooking uh, thing here. God, I, I always like cooking it in the other pot, but whatever. Okay, so what you want to do here is just cover it. That's it. It's not really that, 
you're not trying to do much with this here so just keep it covered you know keep make sure that the chicken is is covered and then on top of that make sure it's uncovered so that it cooks and steams away cooks and steams away cooks and steams away but what we're gonna do now and then we might add more water to it you know what I mean like it just depends you know just to, until I get the right what I want and since I'm gonna be now working for the rest of the night it's gonna take me I'm gonna have more than enough time to finish this and do this okay so switch the camera around all right guys so I really hope you enjoyed today's episode and we're still not done we're almost done so I'm gonna finish cooking this um, while I cook this I'm gonna edit this whole video and then I'm gonna add right at the end of the video you're just gonna see the end product okay this is gonna be a small little scene you're gonna see the end of the product I mean you might not see the mashed potatoes but you'll definitely see that so I just give you a quick <clears throat> whatever and I, might, I might record on my phone whatever the point is that's what you're gonna see anyways thank you so much today Th thank you so much for joining me today I know today was a very long episode, but it was a fun episode. I feel like we did, uh, I showed you a lot of stuff about my day. It was really cool. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, um, it was, you know, I'm, we're going to have fun in the chat room when I premiere this. And it's going to be cool because, uh, again, this is just a day in my life. And a lot of times, I used to do this all the time. When I was living in Seattle, I used to film these fucking things. And, like, around this time. And then edit all the way through the night and then upload it in the morning just so that, like, 10 people could see it. So now it's an honor that I have so many of you guys watching me and wanting to to see my life, you know? So, um, and I know you guys are going to watch this because I watch shit like this all the fucking time. So, of course, wouldn't it be cool to just, you know, see what I did? Actually, you already just, you literally just saw everything I did. All right, guys, enough. This fucking episode's probably long as fuck. That's what she said. So I'm going to end it here. Um, and in the credits at the end, you're going to just see the finished product and that's it. And we're going to end it. And I'll see you guys later tonight on Twitch and BitTube um, for, you know, and I think the dungeon is going to come out. We're going to have a great fucking time as usual. So just join me on Twitch and BitTube. Don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please share. Thank you so much to all my patrons. Thank you so much to all my supporters. Thank you so much to all of you guys watching. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Love you guys. And uh, I'll see you guys later tonight or tomorrow or whatever. How many times have I done this already with the hand? Like 10 times, huh? Hey guys, I'm not really going to be able to show you the finished product because otherwise I'm never going to finish this video. Um, I'm just finished editing the video. I just finished editing the video. It's 9 p.m., almost 9 p.m., a few minutes before. Um, I thought all the downloads failed, you know what I mean? So, like, again, you know, this happens sometimes uh, where I couldn't get any of the downloads and uh, that was a pain in the ass. So I was only able to get like three files out of like 50. Ugh, so now I gotta deal with that um, and it's just anyways it just happens from time to time um, so I'm letting the computer cool off for now I'm just chilling here let me see what time it is see look 8 41 all right I don't know if you guys can see it there so I'm making my mashed potatoes I'm here after smoking a blunt trying to figure out the whole milliliters to grams to this to and then you know what it says here is not what it says in the thing and i measured it it's all wax so i was like i gotta figure that out but whatever it's just powdered fucking mashed potatoes how could you really go wrong um the milk comes like this this is like super ultra pasteurized but it stays really good and forever here um but once you open it it goes bad really quick but regardless you know it's good good milk good stuff got that um so i'm making that i'm the chicken's going full blast. I don't know if you guys can see it there. And um, that's it. I'm going full blast as usual. So that's it. So I'm going to call it a night, guys. I really, really, really appreciate you guys joining me today on the, this adventure. Um, I hope it was fun. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, we just had a day in the life of Jose. Day in the life of me. Whatever. Um... All right, so I'm gonna cut it short so I can get some rest. Well, yeah, right, I still got a lot to do. Um, but yeah, oh yeah, I gotta go through the whole thing. Thanks again for watching, guys. Don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please share, and more, most importantly, please stay awesome, have fun. Thanks again to everybody out there. You know who you are. I love you guys, and um, this is the last time I'm gonna do it, I promise. Thanks again for joining me. See you mañana.
You know, I just realized I forgot to turn this off. <laughs>